Hey everyone, TML64 back with the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. So you're probably noticing right now that Pikachu isn't following me anymore. Well, that's because I finally managed to get him evolved into a Raichu. So there he is. No Pikachu's gonna stop me from evolving him. No, sir. So what I did was I traded him to one of my red or blue games by using the emulator I don't know how. And evolved him there, and traded him back, and now we have a Raichu. So now we're going to perform the very well known and very fun to perform Mew Glitch. So the first thing you gotta do first is head west of Celadon City and you have to cut down this little bush which is why I brought Bulbasaur. So we cut down the bush and head past the grass and up here to the other side of this house where we will find a smaller house. This little girl here Oh, you found a secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And we receive HMO2, which is obviously Fly. We are definitely going to need this if we want to perform this glitch. This glitch has no bad side effects in our game as long as you don't do something stupid. So, just follow exactly what I do and you should be okay. So, let's teach Pidgeotto Fly or whatever Pokémon you have that can fly. Okay, so what should we get rid of? Well, obviously we're not going to be using Whirlwind, so we'll get rid of that. So Pidgeotto forgot Whirlwind, and Pidgeotto learned Fly. So now, we will obviously will fly back, because it's quicker. Back to Celadon City, and before we start this, we're probably going to need a bunch of Pokeballs, or Great Balls, or whatever your preference may be. So, we need to head to the Mart. Okay, I think it's this floor that they sell the Pokeballs on. No, this is the TM floor. Third floor, you get Counter as a TM from that guy, but I don't want it. Fourth floor is where you buy the uh, Element Stones. The fifth floor, maybe it's this one. No Protein and Carabas. Ben, next attack, speed X special. You know, maybe it was on the first floor. I should have talked to the other guy. But anyway, if you make it to the top here, you get find a vending machine. So I suggest buy two fresh waters. But we have no r room for anything else. So we're gonna have to toss a few things. Well, first of all, I'll use a HP up on Doug Trio because of his low HP, so that gets rid of that item. Uh, let's see, TM01 is Mega Punch. I don't think I'll be giving Mega Punch to anyone either, so I'll toss that. And one more item to toss would be TM45, Thunder Wave. I don't think I have anyone else that can use Thunder Wave besides Raichu, so I think I'll toss that as well. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to buy two fresh waters. And by the way, this is not the glitch that I'm doing right now. We, I'll tell you when we get to it. We're just getting a few things done first. Buy one soda pop and then one lemonade. Now, what you want to do is you want to talk to this girl and give her one of each. If you give her the fresh water, you'll get TM13, which is Ice Beam, so we can give that to someone. Very helpful. But we don't have space for it, obviously. Oh, Generation 1 is poor bag handling. Uh, let's see, what's TM08? TM08 is Body Slam. I will need that, I'll keep that. Uh, Great Ball could be useful. Max Potion, Hyper Potion, TM19 is Seismic Toss. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Not gonna need it. Okay, so now we give her fresh water and we get TM13, which is Ice Beam. We keep the second fresh water, don't give it to her because she won't want it. Give her a soda pop and you will get the TM for Rock Slide, which is a very useful TM. And the last one is to give her the lemonade, you will get a. TM for Tri Attack, which not many Pokemon can learn in this game, but Tri Attack can be given to Pokemon like Wigglytuff, Clefairy, Porygon, and I think Hypno and Alakazam as well, but it's normal type, so it's considered physical, so it's not very good in Generation 1. In fact, it's not really good until Generation 4, really. So avoid it if you want, but it's a cool move nevertheless. Has a chance to paralyze, uh, burn, or freeze the opponent. Anyway, enough of that. We got everything we need, so... Wait, no, we don't. I forgot to get the balls. Arrgh. 
Sorry about that, folks. All right, we gotta go back to the mart, and hopefully it's the second floor. Boy, I completely ab ignored this guy. Okay, we want to buy a hefty amount of them, because if you're gonna catch Mew, the chances are you're going to be missing. A lot. So, you're gonna need a lot of balls to catch this. No pun intended. Alright, so, let's see, we have Raichu at the start of our party. Right? Let's begin the glitch! Right, so, first of all, let's activate the bike. Because it's quicker to get around now, and we don't have P Pikachu following us anymore, so there's no real need to walk around anymore. We'll take a quick shortcut through Celadon, I mean Saffron, because if you have a second fresh water, the guard will want it. Gee, I'm thirsty. Oh wait, that road, the road's closed. Wait a minute, I thought I had a second lip fresh water. Oh, looks like I forgot to get the second one. Oh well, well if you get another fresh water and give it to him, he'll drink it. I'll get it back another time. Alright, so we'll go to the underground cave and hopefully bikes work here. They do. Okay, so this will save some time. Or I can just press this button. And yeah. Okay, now, here's where the glitch begins, people, so take notes. You are precisely one tile above a trainer that is right below me off-screen. What you want to do is, you'll want to press down once, and then immediately press start. Okay, so now you... the guy's looking at you, but you have the start menu up. So now, what you gotta do is you gotta go to your Pokémon and have Pidgeotto fly, or whatever flying type you have, to Cerulean City. Okay, so here we go. FLY AWAY! Okay, so now we're in Cerulean City. Now, if you notice that your start button isn't working anymore, so you can't bring up the start menu. That's a problem! Well, no, not really. As long as you can't really save, you can't check your Pokémon, you can't do anything at this point, so what you gotta do to get out of this pickle is to fight a certain trainer. Now, in this part, at this particular point now, the game is rather unstable. So what you gotta do is, depending on whatever trainer you fight next, Whatever its hexadecimal value is will be in tantrum to the Pokémon you're going to find. In this case, the trainer that we forgot to fight a couple of uh, videos ago, this one, if you fight him, his hexadecimal value is exactly the same as Mew's hexadecimal value. Therefore, when we go back to that route, a wild Mew will appear. So what you want to do is, you cannot walk right up and talk to this guy. He has to walk, that is, walk to you. Otherwise, the game will freeze. So, here we go. That took me to a great party on the SSN on Vermilion City. Alright, so now we fight this guy, and that's practically the glitch activated. So, this guy's only got a slowpoke, he's very underleveled because this is a trainer from ages ago, so Raichu, you know what to do here. Thunderbolt. Okay, so once that trainer is done, you will want to fly back to Lavender Town. Okay, so get your start buttons working again, by the way. Get to Lavender Town, and watch the magic. Okay, so we're just walking along, and as soon as we take one step into this route, huzzah, the start menu pops up by itself. Just press the B button, and... Voila! Wild Mew appeared. Right, so be warned, Mew's at level 7, so he's quite weak. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Thunder Wave this thing straight away. This is your only chance to get Mew. If you fail here, you will never, ever be able to get it again, unless you start a new game. So that's something we really don't want to do now, is it? So, let's see, what... We have a Bulbasaur level 10, thank goodness, so we can use that to weaken it. Now, Mew's base stats are 100 across the board, so you will probably notice that he's a bit defensive uh, towards a level 10 Bulbasaur. I mean, come on, level 10 against level 7, it's not very much of a big level difference there. Just be careful you don't accidentally get a critical hit, or you will be very sorry. I'd say one more tackle should be enough, and then we'll start tossing balls at it. Okay, one more tackle. Okay, now we can start throwing balls. Okay, the Pokeball's obviously going to miss or not catch it. Yeah, that was kind of predictable. Mew is very hard to catch. His catch rate is very, very low. 
So that's why I said you want to buy a lot of great balls. Thank good I have 21. Hopefully one of these 21 balls will catch it. Wow, that was easy! Okay, so we got Mew. How lovely. Mew, the new species Pokemon. Lacking an S. Height 1.4 feet, weight 9 pounds. When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. Do you want to give a nickname to Mew? No. Mew was transferred to Bill's PC. Okay, so we got Mew. He's added to the decks and everything. So now your game is now 100% stable again. No bad setbacks, nothing, and you get yourself a free Mew to boot. So, the only thing now you need to know is that I'm not going to be using this Mew. I just caught him just so you can you can work it out how to get him yourself now. So now that we have Mew, we'll now continue on with the rest of the game, which I suppose is going to Saladon City at this point. Okay, so now we're back in Saladon City, we would want to get the gym out of the way first because that is the... You know what, actually we won't do the gym in this video because the highlight of this video is Mew, I'd like to keep it that way. So, for this video we will just begin to do the Team Rocket Warehouse, and as soon as we enter the warehouse that will be pretty much it for the video. This video was quite short, but you know, E3 is airing tomorrow and I'm hoping to get some of uh, E3's footage onto my channel tomorrow, so keep your eyes open for that, folks. E3 stuff coming tomorrow if everything goes well. Anyway, this should be a very interesting battle, with now this is our first proper battle with our new evolved Raichu. So, let us begin with a Thunderbolt. And Overkill. Zubat. Yep, yeah, that was kind of expected, it would be something weak. Okay, so another Thunderbolt. There's not really much you can really give to Raichu, as it, he can't learn anything else after he evolves into a Raichu, so... The best thing you can really do to help him is really give him something like Swift, or maybe Thunder, if you want to go a bit further, but I'm pretty happy with my moveset at the moment. I got Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Double Team, and Thunder Wave. It's pretty good, but uh, I can make it better. Anyway, talk to this poster! Hey! A switch is behind the poster! Let's push it! And... <gasps> Secret Stairs! Let's go down them! Okay, so now we're in the Rocket Hideout. So, in the next video we'll venture through this, so anyway, that's the Mew Glitch video, so the next video will be the proper part. So, thanks for watching guys, comment, rate, subscribe, and keep your eyes open for E3, and I will see you next time. Peace out.